there now. In the corner, it's Ethan Rowland. This is a good line. Rowland in front. Save. The rebound also went on goal. It's still loose. And now jumping up, being the guy who can really finish and he can really get those pucks out of dangerous areas. Now to the near side. Shot from the point. The rebound. They score. Bang, bang, play. And Canmore gets on the board first as on the door step, that was Caden Rodgey who poked it past Alex Scheibler. And with 10.44 left in period number to try to keep the puck alive, and he does. It's still there in the corner. Now it comes free for Brett Huxley. Huxley hands it off, taken over by Gorley. Walking in, Gorley scores! Well, Mr. Gorley is on fire. As he is, Arizona State's getting a good one. That's 11th of the year for Connor Gorley. He knocked this one right up at one. Almost identical. Top with Owen Jones. But now it's turned over. Here's Austin Rushdie, a backhand shot. That might have caught a piece of the crossbar. In the league, the Oilers' PK is third in the league at 85%. But look out. Here's a chance it comes out in front. I think Shivler's net might. Canmore with it off the Ozone draw. That shot's tipped. The rebound. Oh, it trickled along the line. Now it comes Cam out. Ooh, a jolt of energy has gone into this hockey game. Now look out. After it, here's a chance for Smith. He lost the puck. He's hauled down. And that's going to be a penalty against the Oilers. There's a one for one in this contest. Ty Yoder with some speed looking to break through. Now a big hit by Jace Moffat. He knocks Scott to the ice. Moffat. Down low, looking for options. Pass in front. It's loose. And it's a glove by the goaltender Mallon as it's it was a percentage up that has improved uh, in this game, although his team has actually generated most of the shots. Now Okotoke scores. It's Ethan Rowland, but I'm not sure if they're going to count this one as the referee had his arm up in the air. As and that's why everybody missed it. And the puck went back to Wolfenberg. No goal. In the right wing camp. Shot for so Canmore. Down the left side, here's Brett Huxley coming in. Huxley couldn't tuck it home. He's as got he Ty Yoder. Roland coming in. Good speed here in front. Yoder stopped the rebound. Huck is denied. Their 10 oh. goals. None of them yet. Here's Ty Yoder coming in. Yoder. Oh, that pass in the middle. Miss on that what? check. Now a stretch pass finds Kendra Chuck. He gives it to Reshny. Finds Sokka. Hunter Sokka shoots. Oh. He fans on the shot. Oh, Hunter hands it off for Zeth Kendra Chuck. Sends it into open ice. Canmore gets there first. They send it down the ice. And that's going to be an icing. And now look out as in front of the penalty boxes, it's Wolfenberg and Tallman. Tallman's throwing punches at the man on the ice. And they're all going to be have to be separated Wolfenberg. as this one. Two minutes for hitting from behind and a game misconduct. Uh, it wasn't a hitting from behind. So Next penalty served by number nine, Ty Yoder. So there you go. And now a shot on the power play. They score. It's McLaughlin for Canmore. He makes it two to one has been very effective tonight. Now Turner from the point. That one's blocked. Coming in. Roland just missed wide. Did oh, by Jack Turner. Turner through traffic. Save. The rebound. Shane Tibbles at an empty net. But it was knocked away oh, by Kent. Hands off for Moffat. Moffat turns it over. There's a chance and a save by Scheibler off of Karam. Denice keeps it in. He walks in down low. Denice toward the goal. Oh, it's loose in the crease. And now it's Finds taken it away. Below the goal line, Reshny. To the right circle, back in front. Oh, here's Austin Reshny, save. The rebound saved by Mallon as well. It's still free. Comes up top Sleep. for Moff to Sokka. Sokka shoots, stopped. Oh, and that one bounced off a shin pad. Went to Huxley, he couldn't settle it down. Now it's Sokka, back up top. Brown shoots. Oh, and that one went off the post, I think. Keeps and now it alive. To the right side for Turner. That shot, another block. That one was DeConey getting in the way. Now it's Sam Huck, a wraparound saved by Mallon. It's still loose in front. Spack scores! The captain returns, Dean Spack. The Oilers tie it at two. Well, how long and how many chances can you give somebody before they're going to finally kiss it? And the Oilers did it. They left Mallon. I Lords, now back up top. Denice's shot bounces off the body into the corner and now Canmore will break it out. Spack scores, here's the rest of the goal call. Number two, Cade Turner. Oh no, never mind, Canmore scores. Oh my goodness, 2.29 to go in period number three and the Oilers give it up as soon as they get it back and it's three to two for Canmore. Well, no comment, I uh... In period number three, Huxley passes it to nowhere. It's intercepted. Down the ice, they score. 
Owen Jones ices it. And now he gives the Okotoks bench a bit of a salute. That one is turned aside by Mallon off that chance by Rowland, and that will do it. 60 minutes in the books here in Okotoks, the final score for Canmore 4 and the Oilers 2. Uh, if you're Canmore, that is a big, big win.